Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, yesterday I did a video uh, unboxing and first impressions of the Holtzman Gorilla Survival Neck Knife. So if you have not watched that video, um, check it out because I gave my first impressions and what information I had on the knife, the accessories that it came with. We did the unboxing and everything. So I'm not gonna go back over any of that. Today, we're out here to do a field test. My first impressions were two thumbs up, 30 bucks on Amazon. And if, if it, uh, you know, does a decent job out here, it's worth the 30 bucks. So I'm looking for <clears throat> a good budget neck knife that I can uh, put my stamp on, Ochoco Bushcraft, and recommend to you guys. And so that's what we're gonna find out today. So. Got it right here around my neck, and again, G10 handles, D2 steel, 90 degree spine, which we're gonna test out. So let's start with testing that edge. Yesterday we seen it came shaving sharp, shaved the hair off my hand, got a couple little pieces of fat wood. Let's see if I can make some fine shavings. We'll try the spine out and see how it makes uh, scrapings. So it'll make fine shavings. I'm not getting any really, there we go. Gotta find the sweet spot to get any curls. Well, just a few little ones there, but uh... It will make fine shavings. It will make fine curls. It's got a decent um, edge on it. So good for that. If I just want to get a bigger pile here. And get me a quick pile of fine st stuff and curls and just whatever comes off for a fire. See that? So I just want to get a, a quick emergency fire. Uh, it'll make shavings and, and fine stuff real easy, real comfortably. Let's uh, try out that spine. So see if we can get some fine scrapings. Oh yeah, now. I'm very pleased with that. That's a nice, nice 90 degree spine. Look at that. That's gold right there. That's gold for starting a fire. Fine shavings that'll take a spark. Of course, we're still fire, no fires out here yet, so we can't do anything with this but that is perfect. So in a pinch, uh, we got the 90 degree spine for making some fine shavings. The blade will make uh, fine curls and cuts. Not, not bad. Uh, okay, so the knife comes with this Kydex sheath, which I showed you. Uh, a coarse sharpener over here. It's I wouldn't want to use it now because I think it would just dull the edge where it's got a shaving edge. But I think in a survival situation where you had to get at least somewhat of an edge back on, that would work. And this little ferrule rod, which isn't much. I recommend you carry a bigger one in your pocket, but it goes right right up in here so you do at least have something so let's scrape the uh, black off this since we were messing with that 90 degree spine see how it throws sparks 
and then I got a uh, real ferro rod with me. So what we're gonna do, guys, because it is still dry out here, is we're just gonna do it over the top of this. So let's get rid of the black stuff on this first, the coating. See if this little tiny rod is worth anything at all. I'll try to come over here where you guys can see. Oh yeah, that's surprising for I'm trying to hold it where you guys can see. So it's not much, but if you have quick tinder tabs, which I do with me, um, that one little spark will get your quick fender, uh, quick tinder tabs going. So for something like that, it would be okay. But you should have something like this in your pocket. See what comes with that. So I'm not going to do too much, just like I said, because it's still dry. But as you can see, it makes a great striker. So right off the bat, it's a great emergency fire starting tool. That 90 degree spine, getting the fine shavings. The blade works just fine for getting um, some fine little cuts and scrapings and different things to get your fire going. Use those fine scrapings and then a bunch of this little stuff. Will it carve? Well, let's find that out next. Let's go ahead and put a point on something here. And it's doing a fine job. Look at that. Wow, that's nice. That is uh, comfortable in the hand to carve with, but the blade's doing a great job. So it's just that quick and easy. We got a point here. Let's put a seven notch on the back here. So here's, here's a test, because we're gonna tap it in a little bit. Make sure you guys can see. We'll do a little batoning. No problem there. A little awkward angle, but I want to make sure everything's on camera for you guys. So we'll just tilt that up a little bit. Yeah, it works just fine for carving. Put a point on here real fast. Making me a seven notch. No problem. So far so good guys. Again, 30 bucks. You know, my SE Azula with the handles from the knife connection and all the extra goodies. I probably got 140 bucks in. Here's 30 bucks. I've already got a good Kydex sheath, a few other little bonus tools d2 steel knife that is doing a great job so far so no problem there point seven notch squared off the end here We just could tap that in and use that as a stake for my tarp or whatever. 
So it carves, it carves, it makes shavings, it makes sparks for fire. Nice. All right. Let's try batoning a little bit of light kindling here. No problem with small stuff. Another piece here. So far, so good. Performed well. So I, I've got a bigger piece of wood. I would never, under normal circumstances, do this with a knife this size. But, you know, that's 30 bucks. I, I really want to see how it'll stand up. So let's give it a shot. So far, so good. I hit a knot. I'm going to try to go around that knot here. So I'm hitting a big old knot. And I'd really have to start slamming that... Uh, down on there, wow. A little extra test there. Let's try up on this end. There we go. So, <clears throat> a little extra abuse there that I would not normally do but again, I want, to, I want to be able to stand behind this. I want to be able to say to you guys, hey, if you're looking for a good uh, budget neck knife, I can recommend from Ochiko Bushcraft this Holtzman D2 Steel neck knife. All right. So we didn't do a lot, but let's just see how the edge held up on that little bit. Still shaves right there. So it still takes the hair off. It hasn't lost its edge at all on that little bit of work. Um, the handle is tight as can be. You know, no damage to the blade. I actually did a little bit harder batoning there than I had planned. Uh, hit a knot, got stuck in the wood. It just. It's comfortable in the hand. It's comfortable. I like it, guys. I like it. So there it is. I'm going to, in the future, try to do some more field tests on not just budget knives, but trying to find other quality items that, hey, if you're on a budget and you just can't go all out right now for what you really want, but you need something, uh, this will work, and it will work well. It won't just get you by but it'll actually be something that uh, you can rely on and enjoy using and i give this two thumbs up i'm going to stand behind this uh, give it an ochko bushcraft recommendation holtzman survival neck knife on amazon for 30 bucks again if you didn't see the unboxing go back and check that out so you can see all the goodies that it comes with and um, i mentioned some things in that video that I didn't talk about in this one, but snaps up in the sheath and I'm good to go. Uh, so great, I believe, especially for the price, I'm gonna say for the price, outstanding little neck knife uh, to add to your kit. And it ain't much, but a spark is a spark. So I will go ahead and carry that in there and. That's a nice tight fit, so it's not going to go anywhere. There we go. All right, guys. There it is. I'm giving it an uh, Ochiko Bushcraft recommendation. Thanks for watching. Again, be sure and check out the first video. Take care, guys, and get out there and enjoy yourselves.